Well, good morning. Let's get to work. Last night, I swam in the pool all night. Super fun. And today we're driving down the John Deere 110. I haven't had it started in a while. I haven't needed to mow my lawn. So I thought, hey, let's blow out the cobwebs. All right, let's pull in here. Big cat, big cat, boss man, what's going on? Where's my money? Here is $850. Let's go. Yes, sir. Parking garage has been making some real good money. I'm going to keep the hoverboard in your office. And yeah, things are going to get busy around here because people are going to start buying cars for, you know, Christmas gifts, stuff like that. Do you know anyone who gets a car for a Christmas gift? Because Well, I've if you're going to get a car one. and then, you know, you get it for, your, you know, a friend or somebody and you're like, hey, it's a Christmas gift. I guess that's true. Well, anyways, enough talking. We got to get to work. So, you know, we get cars all the time, right? And usually we have to go pick them up. And it's kind of sketchy because we're using our own trailers. Well, this time I've contacted this shipping company and they have these big containers. And all of our vehicles are now going to be arriving in those. That sounds like a plan, Stan. How many cars? Yeah, honestly, I don't know how big the order was. You could I only got... fit like five in here if you ordered that much. We need to keep selling. Yeah, well, I got some snowmobiles and other things too you'll, you'll see when we're oh there. snowmobiles yeah awesome okay yeah. all right i'm getting Should the semi fired up all right boss man i'll show you how to drive the semi in case you need to drive it okay i, I think i know how to drive this uh, thing man. no the there's no way it. you know how to shift man all right there we go swing wide you gotta swing wide and if a car's in your way just hammer on the horn okay man i love this thing definitely is not passing any emissions tests though all right, man, you got to swing wide, especially when you get into residential air, well, commercial areas like this. But you know what I mean? Is that the warehouse? Uh, yep, that is it. Bigger than I thought. Where the heck do you pull into this place at? I think you just kind of make your own spot. What? I don't really see you. Uh... Well, do you see an entrance? All right, make your own spot, he said. Be careful. This ground's a little bit rough. Check this out, man. You got two Paganis? Yes, sir. These things were very expensive. Yeah, they look like it. Did somebody order them, or did you just get it and hope that we're going to sell them? We have some people who are talking about being interested, some customers who have quite a bit of money, so we'll, we'll see if we can get them to pick these up. I do like how you can open the back, easy to work on, service, do maintenance, stuff like that. All right, so how the heck do we do this, man? They're on, like, these weird shipping container things, and... Are these two containers yours too? Yep, these are also ours. So one of these should have the okay. snowmobiles. I'm gonna go whatever. find somebody in the warehouse and figure out what the heck we're doing here. Well, boss man, where you at, big cat? I'm over here, what's up? Okay, sounds like they uh, they have like this forklift over here. I'm gonna have you run it. And then they wouldn't let us drive our semi. They said they had one hooked up to a trailer, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, you're gonna load me up in the forklift and they get a semi on the other side of the building. Okay, and then do we take the forklift with us? They mentioned to me that they'll supply everything. Yeah, I guess we'll just throw it on our trailer. So good thing we brought our semi. Well, look at this. They have a Tesla semi? Crazy. Okay, let's turn it on. They didn't even tell me it was like a Tesla. They were just like, hey, we got a semi hooked up to our trailer. Go grab it. And I was like, all right. But look at this thing. It's all electric. There's like a little whining noise to it. And I guess these are shipping container trailers. I literally have no, oh, it's only 90%. This is pretty cool. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna let you do your thing, man. I've never seen one of those. Holy biscuits. That thing weighs yeah. probably a million pounds. Yeah, this should be able to support all the weight we need. All right. So this just extends all the ways out. Check that out. Okay, here we go. Oh, you got a little tipping going. You're good though. Okay. Yeah, nice and easy. Straighten them there tires out. You're cranked to the right there. And make sure I don't hit anything. Yeah, you're good. None of this is ours, so it doesn't really matter. Well, I don't want to damage you. This is our like, first time working with this company. There we go. I think we got it attached. Cars are strapped down. And then what? We need to do the green and yellow tra containers? Yep. And you left your or the trailer, man. Come oh. on. Jeez, I must have hit the wrong button. Is there lots of buttons in that thing? Yeah, there's like a million. Well, actually, there's it's just a, like iPad looking thing. Oh, all this new technology. All right, we're all loaded up. Two cars. One of these, he said, has snowmobiles. Another one's a car, you said? Yep, should all be in there. Jeez, I wonder how many trailers you could connect together, but that is plenty long. Good thing it separates in the middle. And you're going to load that up onto our 9,000? Yeah, I hope it's going to be able to pull the weight. Heck, it'll pull it, but will the trailer hold it? Yeah, I'm a little worried about that. I had that Volvo on there yesterday. That thing weighed about 100,000 pounds, so should be good. Okay, let's try getting this on a bit better. Okay. All right, we got to reposition it. I'm going to let... I'm going to let you haul that, and then I'm going to take the Tesla. 
That sounds good. You know how to drive that thing? Yeah, it's pretty quick. And the turning radius, look at this. This thing turns on a dime. Man, the fact that you're making no sound and then there's me who's just sounding like a full on the cruise ship. Here we go, big cat over the bridge. Heck yeah, this is awesome. So should we start investing in some electric semis? Cause it seems like that thing's pretty nice. Uh, yeah, I think they're pretty expensive though. Ah, uh, okay, I, well, isn't everything. Plus, I don't know if Steve could, you know, keep them going. Hey, that guy's pretty skilled, but yeah, I guess it is electric. It's a bit different. Yeah, I'm going 120 kilometers, 140. I'm going uh, 11. All right, I already made it here. All right, I'll be there in five minutes. Jeez, man, lay off the horn. Just want to make sure you were awake. I was actually taking a nap. Well, not anymore. There you go, floor it, floor it. Yep. Nice here work, big go. cat. Just drop her down. Let's see what's in there. Is that the snowmobile one? I think so. Green for snowmobile? Green for snowmobile? What kind of snowmobiles did he buy? I, th I think I bought a green one. Here, let's see. I think I drop her down. I think I can undo the latch here. Yeah, I got some snowmobiles here. Perfect, Polaris. Wait, are these our snowmobiles or are we trying to sell them? We're trying to sell these. Oh, and you paid for everything, right? Yeah, yeah. They're and all paid let's for. Let's just say we are able to sell them. Can we use them, like, make sure they're still working in the winter? Yeah, I, we, we're going to have to give some of our customers a demonstration of how they work. Okay, that works good. We got snowmobiles, lifted trucks, and Ferraris. We got it all. There you go. Looks good, boss man. Just back her on down. All right, here we go. These are going to be fun to get out of here. Yeah, heck, how are we going to do that? I don't know. I don't even know how they got them in here. A forklift? I'll grab the forklift. Guys, over the course of just a couple months, we have bought so many pieces of equipment, so many different things, and we've only sold, I think I've sold three or four cars now, which has been good for me. But boss, man, I don't think he's sold very many cars. Anyway, we bought more than we sold, which isn't a good combination. Here we go. Got him down with the forklift. You should probably move your behemoth out of the way. Boss, man, I don't know why it's sitting there. Man, it's okay. You can literally drive under it. That's true. That's true, unless it settles. But yeah, there we go. These things are, how much did they cost and what are we going to sell them for? Uh, So yeah, we're going to sell these for a million bucks each. A million and bucks each? We don't have to talk about how much I spent on them. It's all good. I'll just make sure the profit margins are there. But yeah, let's get them in the showroom if they're a million dollars. Oh yeah, yeah. these are not going to be staying outside. So this one's a convertible and that is fully enclosed or does it remove a little bit? Get the birds out of here. All right, we're putting so the purple one right down the middle. Do you realize when you press your brakes that the front lifts up? It opens up? Yeah, there's like flaps to slow you down for when you're going 300 mile an hour. All right, let's open the hood there. Oh, this one all opened up here. Here we go. Looks good. Wow. Look, like, just look at the construction of these. They are made so well. Yeah, suspension's really cool. But all right, we need to keep working, man. It's getting late. Okay. I yeah. want to go home here soon. Okay, okay, let's get this last container off. So you ordered two cars, two snowmobiles, and what was the last thing? I, I think it's a car. Okay, it should be, do you know what Maybe type? A Ferrari, BMW? BMW? Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to see once we open it. Here she comes. Yep, you're clear. All right, drop down right here. What in tarnation is this? What do you mean? What's in it? Get out of here, boss man. Are, is this a cruel joke? What the heck? Is it a steamroller? Man, this looks like something from the Flintstones. Oh, there's a little seat here. What, what? then you just push with your feet? There's a steering there's, wheel. There's no way I ordered this. Wait, let me hop in here with you. What the heck? Yeah. This is not Well, we go a lot I... faster when you're helping with your feet too. I don't think they sent us the right vehicle. Oh, huh. it's a four seater. Man. Is it six uh, cylinder or, eight, or is it a V8? Well, I see two cylinders on it, but I don't think that's what you're asking. Uh, four seater thing. It's got eight. Four horsepower. So, like, what are we gonna do? Are we keeping this? Do I like? Well, you must have ordered it, but yeah, we better get this back to them. They said if we don't bring it back by the time they close at five, we're gonna be in trouble. This is literally from the Flintstones. Like, are we using this as an attraction? Oh, this is model or... eighteen hundred, isn't it? Or is this the seventeen seventy six model? Okay, okay. Do you think we can get this thing sold? Yeah, it's com it's got a rooftop too. That's nice. Yeah, I guess pretty uh... good aerodynamics. Nice wood finish, you know. Yeah, you know, you don't have the windshield, so you don't have to always keep cleaning off the windshield. You have all those moving parts, you know? Yeah, yeah, really good. Okay, we'll keep it. Okay, yeah, I bet I can get her sold. Well, I'm going to let you bring everything back. I have to go home and wash the pigs. The, the pigs? What? Yeah, I got to clean. Goodbye. Yep, see Goodbye. you later. Goodbye. Well, guys, hopefully you enjoyed today's episode. We got the showroom packed and some weird car that got delivered. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Hit the like button, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. See you.